Hi, I'm Dale Irvin, the professional summarizer. And I just wanted to say that organizations bring me into their meetings so that I can observe everything that goes on and then report it back to the audience in the form of a comedy monologue written on the spot. That's what I do for meetings. Here's how I did it for this week's news. Happy Friday to you. Today is August 2nd, and these are the Friday Funnies. Well, it's August already, so we have officially entered the dog days of summer. Now, I don't know how you celebrate the dog days, but as for me, I'm going to spend my time lying on my back waiting for somebody to scratch my tummy until my leg twitches. Edward Snowden has finally gotten out of the Moscow airport, and I got to tell you, he must be riper than a three-week-old peach. He has received temporary asylum in Russia so that he can take a shower and then they're going to decide what to do with him. What I think they ought to do with him is send him to Saudi Arabia with a hooker and a bottle of vodka and just see what happens. Well, the summer heat must be the reason that we've had so many people doing so many stupid things here in the Friday Funnies. We've all heard the phrase, don't take a knife to a gunfight, but this week Derek Mosley of Portland, Oregon did even worse. He entered a gun store intent on robbing it and he was armed with a baseball bat. When he approached the store manager and demanded money, the manager simply drew his handgun, pointed it at Mosley and began giving the orders. He held Mosley at bay until the police arrived and they then took him away. Later, it was discovered that the bat was corked, so Mosley was charged with first-degree theft and kicked out of baseball. Congratulations, Derek Mosley. You are our Dumbass of the Week. The state of Hawaii has over 17,000 homeless people living on their shores, and they're putting quite the burden on the state's welfare system. Hawaii would like to ease this burden by sending the homeless back to the mainland. Under a new program called Return to Home, Hawaii is offering homeless residents a one-way ticket back to the mainland where they will probably land in either San Francisco or Los Angeles, thus adding to their homeless burden. Thanks so much for that, Hawaii. The other glaring error in their plan is that Hawaii has allotted $100,000 to the three-year program. When you take $100,000 divided by 17,000 homeless comes out to $5.88 per person. And what kind of ticket to the mainland are you going to get for $5.88? Greyhound doesn't travel to Hawaii and it's not like they can hitchhike. Maybe they're going to have a homeless lottery system where the lucky ones will win a trip away from paradise. We'll be keeping an eye on this clever bit of governmental insanity. <laughs> In North Carolina, where you can marry your cousin, Joss, not your gay cousin, Cody Parsons was charged with assault for hitting his girlfriend with a piece of pizza. Meanwhile, in South Carolina, Jimmy Ray Pogue was also arrested for hitting his girlfriend with a pizza. In both instances, the women showed sauce stains and signs of pepperoni shrapnel. It was not reported if the pizza was thin crust or deep dish, but in both cases, I would recommend as punishment 90 days as Domino's delivery drivers with all of the tips going to the victims. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. We'll be back next week from the road where I will be bringing merriment to the masses. I'll see you then. <laughs>